how I found you, God only knows. It must have shaped you from a dream. Made you so I wouldn't be alone. I'll be lifted. Clouds broke and they gave way. I saw the light come shining down. I lost all my sense of time and space. You what my world revolves around. out that we were having a baby girl and we and we sat down together and we talked about all the qualities that we hoped our daughter would have first we talked about how we wish she'd be strong um, stubborn hard to uh, hard to persuade you know we wanted her to have like to be herself to be confident not easily persuade so she needed to be strong she needed to be stubborn but the last trait that was most important is we hoped that she would be kind. She would be loyal. She would have a very caring soul. The kind of soul that calls off of work to take her cousin to the doctor because she knows she's scared to go by herself. And for all those reasons, I'm so thankful to call you my best friend. And I'm so thankful and honored that you are Abby's godmother. Beautiful story.
I have loved every moment we have shared together, and I can't wait to make more memories now that you're a wife and you married your soulmate and the man of your dreams, your best friend. And here's my little advice. Be kind to each other. Love each other. Remember, love is never easy, and it's one crazy ride, but it is ever beautiful and worth it. And just one last thing we wanted to say to Eric. One of the uh, qualities that Rose and I admired most of from Ange is that she never settles. She knows what she wants and nothing's going to convince her otherwise. And she'll never settle for anything less than she deserves. And that quality is one that we admire the most and that is the greatest compliment that we can give you. And I just remember the day she told us about you, the way she was glowing and the way she just smiled and you just knew you were the one. So, you know what, thank you. We thank you for loving her and taking care of her. been there for me no matter what. I am so blessed to have a sister like you. We've had so much fun, fun together and so many great memories. Funkle Eric, I have liked you from the very beginning. Thank you for loving my sister so immensely as you do. I know she means the world to you. I pray that God will bless you and Ange one day with a little family of your own so that I can give your kiddos as much love as you both do to ours. I'm so very happy to call you my brother-in-law. Keep being that awesome guy you are. Ange is your queen, now and forever. I love you both and congratulations. Cheers. Angela. I, I'm gonna go off the hip real quick. You look so beautiful. You look like you should be on currency. You look so good and like it, it, so pretty. It is so good to see you. Like I was like, I'm sitting here. You're walking to the aisle. I was like, oh man, look at this, look at this chick. So I'm gonna go off this uh, paper that I wrote. Eric, you're one of the most admired people and respected people I know. I'm so grateful that you're in my life. And I can say, Angela, you're in my life as well. Lenny, Chris, I love you guys so much. Mr. and Mrs. Whalen, I want to thank you for raising such amazing people. I am fortunate to know and call my very, very, very good friends. 